Kirk Franklin, if you don't know him, as we just educated young Chris right here. I don't know A lot of people, you might not know gospel, you might not know music at all, or you might not know black people, whatever, but that's, <laughs> that's me. That's you. That's, that's all me. of the above right there. <laughs> check, check, mm-hmm. and check. Nailed it. But Kirk Franklin, as I explained to young Chris over here, Kirk Franklin is, and as Martin was helping to explain over here, took gospel to the mainstream in a sort of R&B and hip-hop way. He took it to the mainstream the way he was in movies and in fried chicken commercials, got Grammys. Now, I don't claim to know everything that he's done because I'm not really heavy in the gospel. I'm not, I haven't gone to church in a while, so I can't claim to be an expert in the gospel genre. But that goes to show you just how popular Kirk Franklin is sure. because, you know, people like us have heard about him, even though we don't listen to that music that much. Nothing wrong with it. I like gospel. Just don't really buy it or anything. But I'm going to look this up right here. Kirk Franklin cussing out his son. Put this on silence here. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and just capture this because this, this might be funny. So since I know nothing about it, I'm not going to say anything yet. But I hear people kind of shocked by this. People are like, you a church going man. Jesus would not like this. Mm. When your bitch ass starts to respect that church, I'll put my foot in your ass. Because I, I dare you. I dare you. I dare you. I dare you. So this is his son. <laughs> And this is this is this is uh, Papa Franklin, and Papa Franklin is telling him, uh, "Get your if you didn't hear it, I'll go ahead and translate for you. Get your ass out here, for I'll put my foot up your skinny ass right now." And his son is just over there laughing. I dare you, I dare you, <laughs> mainly because he's recording this shit right now. Right, right. <laughs> I made it as a gospel song. He's working on. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so wait, you think we do this in a minor C? Yeah. Or? Satan, get your foot out my. I did it. See, that's why I wonder if he got a little shit in his ass because the way he said that, don't you ever disrespect me. He all got like a gay dude. Don't you ever disrespect me. Motherfucker, don't you ever. <laughs> Once that high pitched voice comes out, because Kirk Franklin don't sound like that. <laughs> Not normally. No. Not normally. No, when he's out there in front of that choir, he sound like this. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> that dude don't do nothing but point and repeat what they say. I know. <laughs> heaven, heaven. <laughs> God, God. Singing can God's prayer. Can I hear it to the end? <laughs> I'll break your neck. Is that a threat? <laughs> 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 hey, listen, y'all, because y'all think I'm going to go off on this from, from some religious angle because he's in the church. He's a man of he's God. He's supposed to do he's this. He's supposed to be like this. He's supposed to have this image. Man, first of all, this man got a teenage son. Uh, if anything will make you cuss, mm. it's a fucking teenage son. Yeah. I don't care how much God you got up in you. And by the way, it don't say nothing in the Bible about calling your child a motherfucker. <laughs> it, it, it's true. It doesn't. And, and I dare say that uh, if it wasn't for uh, standards and practices on television, Superman would have been talking to his oh, kid the same way. Let me correct way. this. Let me correct this. The chat. See, I told you I don't know nothing about this, man. Thank you, chat. Thank, thank you for correcting me. They said his son ain't no teenager. His son is 33 years old. Oh, well, that's what shit. I thought when he was saying to him. He's like, I'm old. I'm grown. <laughs> I didn't even hear that part. Yeah. His son is 33 years old. Yeah. So that'll make you cut somebody in even more. A 33-year-old son who acts like a teenage probably. <laughs> <laughs> and a daddy who apparently acts like one too. You know. I mean, I wish we knew the context of what he, they were yeah. arguing about. Because maybe maybe Kirk Franklin has a point. <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying. I don't know what he's cussing his son yeah, out man, for. They, his son might have borrowed a bunch of money and he, he, he never paid I back. don't know. I, look, Kirk, Kirk Franklin... Because because he he because he teaches a choir and he's up in a church don't mean he can tell his grown ass son fuck you what people y'all got this confused man this is why this is why y'all y'all got the, y'all got the Bible you got religion mixed up with whatever with whatever bullshit society makes up yeah because God or Jesus they never tell you that it and. There's nowhere in the Bible, and believe me, I checked. Nowhere in the Bible does it say, thou should not tell somebody to go fuck themselves. 
No, you can say that. The fuck is a man-made invention uh, word? That's a man-made construct right there. You can tell people go fuck themselves and say fuck, 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 fuck until the sun rises, man. Ain't, ain't no sin in that. The, the closest in there is uh, disrespecting your parents is an abomination punishable by death. So that means Kirk yeah. Franklin can kill his son right now. That's what he Especially said. He since his son neck. is 33, yeah. That's what he's saying. <laughs> Same age as Jesus. He can go see Jesus right now. <laughs> what, my whole thing with Kirk Franklin is that, and this is what, and I, probably, and look, I don't know Kirk Franklin. I don't know if he said this. My problem with religious people, I don't know if this is Kirk Franklin, whether it's Kirk Franklin or anybody else, and I can't say it's him because I don't know him, but I have a problem with with self-righteous religious people. My only problem, I'm not judging. You can cuss anybody out all you want to. You can fuck around. You can do whatever. As long as you're not going out there and looking at other people and judging them, telling them they need to get to church, Speaking you need to be to doing them. what I'm doing. Yeah. I don't know if Kirk Franklin judged people by homosexuality. I don't know if he judged them by sexual uh, habits. But I do know that the dude had a porn problem. He had a porn addiction. And which means he was jacking off all the time. So, hey, if he kept that on the down low and it's saying I'm nobody, cool. But if he was looking at people saying, you shouldn't touch your dick because God don't like it. God. You know, as long as he wasn't doing it. <laughs> dick. Ain't it, ain't it funny how nobody had porn addictions until the internet made it free? <laughs> Yeah, and I had porn. I can tell you, I had a porn addiction way before the internet was there. <laughs> Which I'm like, is it a, an addiction or is it just that it's there? You I had it because I was searching for that shit. I was going to, <laughs> well, most people were looking for rocks and shit. I was yeah. looking for porn tapes. <laughs> I was, I, I, this is before the internet was there. I was going to oh, my, damn. yeah, old I was, school. yeah, I was going to my, I was, I was, I was trying to get people to rent porn for me, going to the adult section <laughs> yeah, for you, hell yeah, I was that, trying those, to get those curtains, get, the beads. Oh yeah, I was trying to get people to get that shit for me, man. Yeah, yeah, I was. And instead of buying, getting some homeless guy to buy liquor for him, I'm like, man, go get a hey, go get a membership at this video store. Get this cassette get for me. Get yeah. this VHS. Yeah, <laughs> man, I just I have no judgment against that. So my look, what I know and everything, that's a funny ass tape that he's cussing his son out. But I had plenty of people. I've had plenty of people who were supposed to be an authority figure cuss my ass out like this. Yeah, yeah I've had preachers cuss me out. I've had. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> Pissing in the holy water. <laughs> <laughs> well, you drinking well, you the wine, probably right. I'll tell you what I remember. Mm. I remember a woman. She got mad to the point. She said, "God damn it!" In the church, <laughs> we, we built this. We I, I built this spook house in this church, and I was because I used to love scaring people, man. So this is this this fed into another addiction I had, scaring the fuck out of people. Mm. So I built this spook house, wanting to scare fucking people, man. And it was in the basement of the church, and I remember that there was this. Uh, and nobody came through. We were supposed to have a Halloween party. Nobody came through for it, really. It was just a handful of people. But there was one kid who took his little brother through there. And I remember chasing that kid, and I had on a mask, so I couldn't see where I was going. <laughs> and I guess the kid was screaming, so the preacher's wife came in. And when she came in there, I, <laughs> when she turned the corner, I was running for that kid, and I grabbed her titty spot. <laughs> oh, no. I either uh, grabbed one or both, but I did it by accident. <laughs> And she and I told her she was mad about it because I told her I said I'm, I wasn't my, and I was not trying to do it but I told her I said I'm sorry I didn't mean it she's like yeah you did God damn it you meant that I was like, <laughs> and I was laughing like nobody want to grab your I'm like what do you think I want to grab your titties right now which I kind of did but I ain't gonna lie I ain't gonna do it on purpose ain't nobody coming after your ass like that she was mad as fuck. <laughs> but yeah man uh, no nah, people cussing each other out man teacher cuss me out. I mean, all kind of people cuss me out. Kirk, Kirk Franklin cussing somebody out. If you hold that against him because he's a man of God in the church, that don't mean nothing, man.